You look so festive. Yes. Yes. Uh, you guys, one of you guys, had a recommendation for a video on vegan bodybuilding tips and struggles. So I thought that was a really good topic because a lot of people are concerned about muscle when they go vegan. I was concerned about muscle. He wasn't concerned about muscle. He doesn't. He's not concerned about anything. <laughs> no, we're good. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start with the struggles. Um, I get the question a lot too. You do? Yeah, yeah. Anybody that works out, they, uh, that's their first thing they ask me. Anybody that doesn't work out, they ask, like, how do you do it? Yeah. The two things that I thought of, number one, and this is the one that gets me the most, is people's negativity. This can come from anybody. I've gotten it at the gym several times. I've gotten it online. They question everything. They question your nutrients. Nobody cared about my protein and my iron before I went vegan, but they care now. So they ask protein, they ask about iron, they ask about B12. They tell me that I'm not gonna be able to, be able to build muscle or be able to recover, so. Wrong. People's negativity. <laughs> people's negativity is probably the most negative thing about, or the, the biggest struggle in uh, for vegan body, bodybuilding for me. I don't have anything that's a struggle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I didn't have any trouble with protein though, I don't think. I, I mean, I haven't lost a ton of muscle mass. He doesn't even work out anymore. Yeah, I definitely have lost strength, but that's because I don't work out anymore. So I have a different style of workout. Mm -hmm. His yeah. goals are different. Yeah, my goals are all based around climbing, but I have gotten stronger there. So I do know that there is strength coming from my food. Yeah. You know, in direct relation to. It's that's, not an issue. No, it's, I mean, um, it's just, you just can't let people affect you. And just, if you're going to be a vegan bodybuilder, if you're not, you're always going to be faced with negativity, so you just have to do your thing. You know, let your results and let your lifestyle speak for itself. Yeah. You can get like a lack of protein on a vegan diet just as you would on a regular diet. So sure. that's that's the issue. It's just make sure you track what macros. macros. You like the macros. Macros, yes. I love the macros. <laughs> I love the macros. The macros. Yeah. Every single one of them. This one that I had, yeah, and it and that leads into protein. So. Ooh. Readily available proteins can be harder to find um, when you're out and about. So for our family, none of our family is vegan, none of them. Um, so family events and when we go out to restaurants, if you're not going to a vegan restaurant or even a vegetarian friendly restaurant, finding protein is going to be harder in your meals because most of the time when we do go to places that don't have many options, it's rice and beans. Beans are still good. Rice and meat. There is some protein there, but your carbs are going to be way through the roof for that Perfect. day. Um, your protein's going to be lower. So you just have to plan ahead, um, kind of know what you're dealing with, and then just plan to have protein before and after that meal. All easy to be done with planning ahead. Like he said, you can lack in protein on a vegan or a non-vegan diet. So you just have to be aware of your macronutrients. If you are bodybuilding, you do need to be aware of the protein that you're taking in. It does help with muscle building and recovery and just satiety. You're going to be a lot more satisfied for your meals. Makes me think of also, was it B12 as well? Like, oh, how are you going to get B12? That's a huge question, I guess, that we get asked. I can't believe people ask it. Yeah. But it's, they, they, I don't know, the industry fortifies normal food. And so obviously they fortify vegan food as well. It would be a huge health, health issue if we didn't have B12. Yeah. I mean, like it's it's just a societal thing. So. Um, a good amount of society, vegan and non-vegan, is deficient in B12. So I do recommend people take a B12 supplement just in case. But it can be, like he said, so many foods are fortified with it. So cereals even are fortified with it. And then people drink energy drinks all the time. Those have tons of B12 yeah. because that's where a lot of energy comes from. Of course, that's not going to be the best for your body long term. But it's an issue everywhere. So, so many foods now are fortified with it, so it's, it's yeah, it's definitely not an issue for us. I, I never paid attention to my B12 before I went vegan, so if anything, I'm probably more sufficient in it now. I don't even know, what, what is your intake on protein? Well, that, we'll, we'll get to that. Get to that? Yeah. So, <laughs> with that said, the next um, thing that we're going to do is just a few tips that I've put together for vegan bodybuilders. So, if you are vegan, vegetarian, looking to go vegan or vegetarian, and you want to continue building muscle and building strength, 
Um, a few tips that are gonna help you optimize your results. One, this is gonna be for everybody. So a lot of my tips apply to non-vegans as well. Don't be afraid of lifting heavy. Like I said earlier, one of my concerns was losing muscle and losing strength. Just keep lifting heavy, of course, with correct form, know what you're doing in the gym. Keep lifting heavy and keep trying. Don't limit yourself. If you tell yourself you're gonna lose muscle or if you tell yourself you're not gonna make progress, it's going to happen. You're setting yourself up for failure. So do as much as you can and work your ass off and your results are gonna come. That's it. Confidence is a huge thing. Uh, don't like ignore what everyone else says. Like do your own workout, have your own goals. Also one thing I don't do, which I should do, even with my own workout, which is primarily based around climbing, is track it and so write it down, uh, be consistent. And so that's how you're gonna be able to see if you have improved uh, or where you need to improve. Do both of those things. Confidence is a huge deal across the board for all industries, all life pretty much. And so definitely draw it into your workouts. Next tip we had, everybody, all bodybuilders, take a joint support supplement. You are putting a lot of stress <laughs> on your joints. Um, we take uh, turmeric, uh, which is an anti-inflammatory. Anti it's very good for your joints. Um, but the Diva brand, um, D-E-V-A, is a vegan uh, vitamin brand and they have a glucosamine vitamin as well. So I do recommend taking a joint support and that's also really big for us as because we climb. Huge. And it's very tough on your joints. I'm turning the trump. Huge. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I do notice less uh, joint aches and pains since we did go vegan, so. Huge joint issues. Oh yeah? Huge joint issues. You and did? I would, I would, it'd just be so much pain, I'd have to stop whatever I was doing for not just the day but four days after. Mm -hmm. And so turmeric, I don't know, I guess that's the only change I really made. That's that, that change of going vegan. <laughs> one, of those, too. one of those two things, well, along with maybe both of those things. Very broad. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, that could have helped, but I have like almost no issues. Mm -hmm. I still feel it, but the thing is I'm also putting a ton of strain on it, so. A protein, what's the next one? Protein mm -hmm. does help with muscle growth and recovery. So be aware of your protein. I know not everybody's gonna track their all of their macronutrients, so your protein, your carbs, and fats, but just be aware of your protein intake. And I do recommend starting with a good amount is gonna be one gram of protein per lean pound of body mass. If you're slightly overweight and you're 100, and, I don't know, my size, like my height, and like 180 pounds, and you have some goal of fat loss, you don't need to be taking in 180 grams of protein. Just kind of estimate your lean body mass, say, 130, 120 even. Start there and then see how you feel and then you can tweak it from there. But that's a good place to start. My protein, yeah. you did ask about my protein I intake. Did. Right now, um, I'm loving protein. <laughs> so I think my uh, protein is at one, either between 155 and 165. And I do go over a lot of the time. Uh, but that's just my preference. You know, I don't have 165 pounds of anything on me <laughs> so but i just like protein so i had started for a while i was taking in like 100 grams and that's what i enjoyed at the time and then i increased it and now I'm, my protein is pretty high but that's what i enjoy so start with that and then change it as you go but it is going to help with muscle building and muscle repair so definitely be aware of your protein intake everybody Everybody. And it is an experiment. So you do have to play around with your numbers. It's good to track it with like a MyFitnessPal or something like mm -hmm. that. And then, uh, then from there, just kind of, yeah, like she said, do small tweaks and you should be able to figure it out. Just kind of have to play around with it. Yeah. It doesn't, more is not always better with protein. Nope. It's not going to make you grow more. Unless you're enhanced on something, then yeah. you have to have a higher protein intake. Then you do you, bro. <laughs> yeah. Last tip that I had was just be creative with your meals and change it up. A lot of people think that whenever you do start getting into lifting and bodybuilding, you have to follow this like pro bodybuilding diet of super plain meals and every two hours, six times a day. If that's not going to work for you, then don't do it. What's the point if you can only stick to it for three or four weeks and then you fall off the wagon? Find something that's in that middle ground that you can see yourself sustaining in months and months from now. So I cannot recommend flexible dieting enough to you guys. I always talk about macros. I always talk about tracking your intake. It has helped me so much to know what my food looks like as far as macro ratios, but it's also helped me to just kind of 
chill out with foods. You know, I, I have ice cream and I have cereal without eating the entire box of cereal now <laughs> because I know that it fits into my goals. It's not, you know, detrimental to my progress and I just move on. So I cannot recommend that enough for you guys. If you need more information, shoot me an email. Um, I'm happy to talk about it all day, every day. Just be flexible with your lifestyle and with your meals and make your goals fit into your lifestyle. So like I said, whatever you can sustain and keep up with long-term is what's gonna work for you. That's Okay. But anyway, Dad, we had to let the dog in. Yeah, you have the floor. Food is fuel, but it doesn't have to be sadness. Yeah. Because a lot of people just eat for the nutrients and bodybuilding. I don't eat vegetables, like. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, get creative with it. Enjoy your food. Seriously, enjoy your food. Seriously. Seriously. Enjoy. Um, you have anything else to add? Who, me? I Tips think, and I struggles think, and... It lives heavy, enjoy whatever workout. If you don't enjoy the workout, then don't do it. I mean, change it up in some way. I mean, I didn't enjoy lifting all the time, and so I, I, I want to do more of it now, and so I'm going to change that and probably, I mean, I guess we're going today even. But uh, I just want to go climb all the time. That's what I enjoy. It makes yeah. me stronger in that way, but it makes, I guess, my upper body stronger, but my lower, so I need to work on that a little bit. Well, that's, I, I talked about it in my uh, Why I'm Not Competing video, but mm. there's so many different ways to be healthy. You know, there's so many different ways to be fit and to be strong. And you don't have to just bodybuild or lift to be fit and healthy. You know, there's climbers, there's dancers, there's... Runners. Who, yeah, oh gosh, You runners. people are insane. There's people who do yoga. <laughs> that there's that whole uh, pole dancing thing now. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm <laughs> um, jealous. You know, there's so many different ways to be fit and healthy. So find what, like he said, like what you enjoy. Yeah. Find what you enjoy. And train for that. Like, I mean, I guess it's doesn't have to be bodybuilding. So I guess it's not just a bodybuilding video anymore. It's like <laughs> lifestyle. Yeah. I don't know. That's what we preach anyways, right? I mean, so yeah, just find something you love. Yeah, that's find it. What food you love. Yeah. Food that you love. I love food. Yeah. I love food. That's gonna be it for the video. Uh, thank you for the, the suggestion. And all of the other suggestions that have been coming in, you guys have been sending in great questions and great video recommendations. So I've got all of them written down over here and over there on different like little note cards and they will be coming. Um, I'm going to be slowly working on them. So I hope you guys enjoy. I always ask thumbs up, helps the channel so much. Leave comments below. I love talking to you guys in the comment section, questions, any other tips that you have if you're vegan bodybuilder, leave it below. And then if there's any struggles that you've come across as a vegan bodybuilder, leave it below because I would love to hear from you guys. That's it for the video. We're going to go work out. Is this a high five moment? Yes. It's a high five moment. Why are you look at the camera? I looked last minute. That was good. Ah. That was good. Yeah.